Hello again friends, Chrissy here with A Little Glam, A Lot of Mom. Thanks for being here. Today's video is a science and history haul as we prepare for the 2020-2021 school year. This haul will give you an idea of the science and history studies I have planned for the new school year, so let's just jump right into it. I won't dance around it, let's just begin with the stars of the show, which are the Welcome to the Museum series. We have all five. And this collection was quite the investment, but as unschoolers and with the wide range of ages in my home from pre-K to high school, this series serves our home wonderfully. And I'm going to give you a flip through of each one, so let's begin with Botanicum. And it reads, Welcome to Botanicum. This is no ordinary museum. Imagine if you could wander through every field, wood, tropical rainforest, and flower glade in the world. Think what it would be like if you could see the most beautiful, exotic, and weird plants all at once. Have you ever wondered what you would see if you could stroll back in time to the beginnings of life on Earth? You can in the pages of Botanicum. And some of the chapters include the first plants, trees, palms, herbaceous plants, grasses, orchids, and adapting to environments. Welcome to Planetarium, and it reads, This book will take you on an intergalactic journey far beyond Earth's boundaries, transporting you across the solar system, through the Milky Way, and on toward the most distant galaxies. Within its galleries, you will visit places where no human has ever set foot and view exhibits too large to hold within any museum except this one. Chapters include looking at space, the solar system, the sun, the night sky, the stars, galaxies, and the universe. Dinosaurium. Welcome to the Dinosaurium. This museum shows you life on Earth as you've never seen it before. It will transport you millions of years back in time to discover the largest and most ferocious land animals that ever lived, the dinosaurs. Marvel at the museum's extraordinary catalog, which brings you these creatures and all their wondrous variety from tiny feathered killers to vast plant eaters that shook the Earth as they walked. Some of the chapters in this book include the dinosaur classification, the Mesozoic era, the Triassic period, the Jurassic period, the Cretaceous period, fighting dinosaurs, and non-dinosaurs. Anatomicum. Welcome to Anatomicum. Have you ever wondered what the inside of your body looks like? Think what it would be like if you could see it from the inside out. Imagine you could watch your heart beating, witness your skin cells growing, or pinpoint the part of your brain where a thought takes shape. Now you can within the pages of Anatomicum. The chapters in this book are organized by systems, for example, skeletal system, respiratory system, digestive system, and so on. I will also note that there is a reproductive system, so there are male and female reproductive body parts or organ parts. 
just as an FYI in case you were interested in purchasing this book for younger aged children. The entire series is just beautiful and just rich and elegant, um, so it's hard to choose a favorite, but I think it might be Historium for me. And so it reads, Welcome to Historium. Historium's curators gave a great deal of thought to which objects we wanted to include in this museum. It would take a museum of unimaginable proportions to adequately represent the many rich and varied cultures of the past. So first, we try to choose a diverse and wide-ranging selection of civilizations to showcase, and second, we sought to select items that were representative of and provided telling insights into the cultures they were a part of. This book is a beautiful museum of historical objects through the continents of the world. And last but certainly not least, and I think the most popular uh, book of the entire series, the one that you see most often on social media, and that is Animalium. And so it reads, Welcome to Animalium. This museum is like none you've ever visited before. It's open 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and its collection boasts a fascinating catalog of the world's creatures with each exhibit in immaculate condition and presented in fantastic detail. And I also want to read the preface because I thought it was just so interesting. It says, Earth is the only planet we know about so far that has life on it. And the life forms that make their home here have evolved to become both numerous and diverse. We share our planet with about 2 million other species of living things. And these are just the ones we know about and have given names to. And so some of the chapters in this book are, but not limited to, invertebrates, fish, amphibians, reptiles, birds, and mammals. We're diving back into a space study this year during our winter block. So here are some resources I've acquired so far and of course I will add more and budget in more uh, little by little. This is the Smithsonian Timeline Science Space Exploration and this kit includes a 64 page book, a rocket model, stickers, and a timeline poster. I like that the book included is of actual photographs and I can see uh, both my boys, my teenager and my younger son working on the space or the rocket model uh, together. Um, and so for just $4, I thought it was such a good resource uh, to have for fun. See inside the dinosaur an interactive 3D exploration kit. It includes 48, uh, 48 page book triceratops model and a cardstock t-rex model i believe i found this kit along with that smithsonian kit for just a few dollars at ollie's these are dinosaur flashcards from target for just a dollar and the illustrations are super lovely for being digital i also like that the backside has educational facts about each dinosaur I found this little reader at the thrift store for 10 cents. Not much to it, but I know the kids will enjoy reading through it. 
dinosaur origamis by crazy art and i found these at dollar tree it includes 12 origami sheets and a link to a youtube tutorial uh, i thought it might be a fun rainy activity that my older children can assist my younger children with color stick and learn jurassic giants a color activity book i found at a consignment shop for my toddler for her to follow along with us during the dino unit I also picked up a Melissa and Doug 60 piece uh, Land of Dinosaurs puzzle. My Bella and Noah love working on puzzles during read alouds. And last in my pile is a Nat Geo sticker activity book. Coloring, stickers, mazes, dot to dots, so many logic activities, and we love these activity books by Nat Geo. While my oldest children will be moving on to world history this year, my youngest three uh, this year will just be a gentle introduction to history through books, through our unit studies, and even interweaved through geography. But for women historical figures, we're using Little Leaders, Bold Women in Black History. I love the sweet and gentle illustrations. And we're also using 101 Awesome Women Who Changed the World. Uh, this one is organized by uh, chapters, by leaders and activists, scientists and inventors, artists and writers, and athletes and adventurers. And this is uh, another of those resources that we use as a base or a spark of interest to build upon from here onto further resources and studies based on a specific interest of a person. For example, my Bella has shown interest in Amelia Earhart, of course, because she's an adventurer herself. And so I picked up this uh, book in the Who Was series to read out loud to her. And the last resource I have to share with you today is Everything Ancient Egypt by Nat Geo Kids, uh, which this is prehistory, history, geography, and science all in one, a total win in my book. And so I'm so excited Bella has shown an interest. Uh, which her interest in ancient Egypt is what led me to begin putting together uh, a unit study on ancient Egypt. Uh, this is the first resource I picked up for this study. We will also be using Historium in the Welcome to the Museum series, and of course I will acquire more resources a little at a time. But I think this is a great resource to begin with. Um, so the chapters or the sections in this book include the rise of the pharaohs, death and the afterlife, life in ancient Egypt, and fun with ancient Egypt, uh, a section that provides readers with exciting hands-on learning. All right, my friends, that's it for this haul. Thanks so much for watching and thank you for being here. If you do want to see how we use all these resources throughout the school year, all the resources that you've seen in all these halls, please be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you're notified of those upcoming videos. Also, please give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. It helps out my channel and thank you so much for your love.